What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Chell Spur here. We're back at it in Emerge, NYC, Montgomery County. We're responding to a cabin fire with a mutual aid engine 102 from Stillwater. Volunteer fire department, one of the new uh, pieces of equipment that are that it is. Gotta get my tongue twisted here. Is being uh, released with the latest patch. All right, so uh, it's just right up the road here. We'll get here and uh, see what it looks like. Once again, in the uh, new truck, uh, new old school Mac being added. Very, very cool truck. Really like this a lot. I remember seeing a lot of these uh, when I was growing up. Uh, they're quite common. Like, uh, you know, your volunteer fire department's always got like the uh, the hand-me-down stuff. You know, oh cool, we got a hydrant here so we won't have to call it in a tanker and all that. That's good. All right, definitely got a fire. Yes, we have a fire. This one is raging. Let's get out. There we go. Now it's letting me out. It wasn't, it wasn't wanting to let me out for a second. Now it is. Okay. Uh, the supply line. Where where you be? Uh, uh, good question. Oh, what was that? That kicked us off to the, uh... Uh, return all hoses attack line uh, how do we do a supply line on this truck uh, there we go okay why grab supply line okay we're good actually we probably should go around the back yes it's raging we're trying we're volunteers we're doing the best we can here there we go. All right. Uh, hydrant wrench. Where you be? There you are. Nice. Okay. We've got all the things we need. All the things. Get you going. There you go. It's own. Uh, I thought I saw a different kind of uh, option there. That's not what I wanted to do. Drop the wrench. All right, there we go. All right, let's get our attack line. Pull you out. Get a little bit. Yeah, I think this one's pretty much a loss. <laughs> this one's pretty much a loss. We'll do what we can, but uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, there we go. We got you hooked up. Let's grab our nozzle. Get our nozzle here and uh, get the water going. Yes, here comes the water. Start putting some water. At least, at least we got a hydrant here. We had a barn fire in the last video that we had to get like a tanker and do all kinds of things. And it's really cool. I absolutely love it, but it's a lot when you're when you're a one man uh, firefighting team. It's a lot, a lot to do. All right, let's see what can we do. This one is burning pretty good, honestly. Got a lot of uh, flames on the outside. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll get air going. Come on, dude. Just a little smoke, you'd be all right. There we go. All right, we got that knocked down. At least a little bit. Uh, well, it's coming right back. Coming right back. Love the look of that truck. That is so cool. It, it really is a neat concept that they added the rural map to, uh, you know, be able to re recreate some of the uh, volunteer fire departments and stuff like that. All right, I think we're good with that. Let's uh, let's head on inside. Uh, let's open the door. What we got here? Uh, it looks like we're good. Honestly, nope, we're not. We got a uh, fire all in here, yep. Can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Uh, I think we're good now. Let's just spray everything. There we are. We got some up in the rafters. This dude up here. Seems to be running pretty well for me on this map with the latest patch. I don't see any issues. I don't 
like I don't think I have seen a lot of issues on this map though so uh, I don't know so far so good uh, every once in a while like on Brooklyn and Manhattan with big fires they get the stutters I hadn't figured out exactly why uh, why I do I am running a, a Ryzen 3700 with a uh, 2070 Super all right let's get the mask off let's get up and uh, drop this right here all right, we'll do that. And uh, I want to find an axe because someone told me, I don't know if you were tell me that you could, uh, how did I get up on the hydrant like that? Like I wasn't on it like that when we started out. Uh, that is super weird. The truck moved somehow. I don't know, but the truck most definitely moved. Get our air back on. I want to try something. I thought of you were told me that you could bust the door down with an axe. And we're trying. Damn, he goes through that air fast with an axe. Yeah, I'm just not, I'm not feeling it here. I don't know. All right, let's try it from the outside. Let's see if this does it. Uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Because I've, I've always said it'd be really, really cool to be able to just bust the doors down and get them completely out of the way and not have to worry about them. And, uh... Someone had left a comment and said you could do that. You could use an axe, but this isn't like... I don't know. This isn't doing anything for me. Alright, uh, anyway, we've got this wrapped up. Uh... We got the fire put out. All the fires are put out. Let's uh, let's put our axe back, and uh, we'll get out of here. Wow, it's moved even more. That is so weird. It's like completely on top of the. It's whoa, what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> yeah, I don't, what? Whoa. Okay, I don't know. And my axe isn't put away either. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. The truck, like the truck, is creeping on me or something. Uh, I don't know if it's because we didn't set the uh, brake or uh... wow what is going on with this thing all right let's put that away and uh, let's see if we can put our axe away and get this thing off from on uh, on top of the uh... yeah the axe is up there uh, really weird some really weird stuff going on here all right we'll see uh, what other kind of little quick call we can get All right, we're responding to another structure fire. We jumped in the other a new mutual aid truck, uh, 33-1, for uh, Stillwater Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, how can we get down there to it? Yeah, okay, yeah. All right, let's go. It's gonna take us a minute. We'll uh, we'll start heading that way. Uh, they're busy. It's a busy day for the fire department, so we're calling in mutual aid from all over. All right, we're uh, just now coming up on the scene. I can see the fire through the trees. Come on, dude. There we go. All right, let's see what we got. It's supposed to be fire on the outside of the structure. Yes. Okay. Someone's pergola is on fire here. <laughs> they didn't set. They've been barbecuing. And they set the pergola on fire. Okay. Uh, let's get up here by the hydrant. Let's get you down. And uh, go ahead and pull a supply line and get started. All right, get our hydrant rich. Once again, our hydrant, the trusty hydrant wrench. You really just carry these things around on a belt like you need them all the time. All right, got you going. Let's drop you right there and uh we'll get an attack line uh attack line yes i, I wonder uh can we just pull it by uh, attack uh let's do five five should be good there we go and because i don't 
think, like, we're not going to be able to go over the fence. That's the sucky part about it. I think we'll have to go around. Uh, let's see. Kind of figuring out the truck a little bit now. Uh, it's, it's really cool, like I said, that they, they're each, uh, you know, some of them have their, like, subtle differences and stuff like that. All right, let's get over here and see if we can save these people's pergola. Uh, let's go between the garage, actually. Let's do that. All right, get some water going. Get in position. This should be a really easy cut and dry. Good way to finish the video out. Oh, really, dude? You're going to be a baby about it. We got to put on air out here. Really? Dude, come on. No, no, all kidding aside, it's very serious. The smoke can do a lot of damage. So I totally get it. I, I rag this guy about it because it's a game, but uh, there's all kinds of uh, harmful chemicals and stuff like that that you can in inhale or breathe. All right, there we go. I think uh, I think we got it, right? Like, I think it's all out. Let's double check. Man, they've got a nice, nice little outdoor uh, area here. I would have me a grill out here, to be honest. If this was my area, I would have like an outdoor kitchen. I would have all kinds of stuff out here. A grill and some uh, gas cooktops and uh, what else? A deep fryer. Uh, I love cooking. I love cooking outside even. There we go. So that would be me. I'd have a couple sitting areas, maybe a little bar and some bar stools and uh, a cooking area. We do it up right. Uh, and a smoker. You can't forget a smoker. That's definitely, definitely have to have a smoker out here. All right. I think all the fires are put out. I think we're good. That was a really quick uh, little uh, takedown, knockdown, whatever you will call it. Either way, job's well done. It is complete. Got the water off. And uh, we no longer need the air. Get your helmet back on, dude. All right, let's uh, go put our stuff away and we'll call it. That'll be it. We'll get back over here. Got to put our hose away. Always have to put your stuff away. All right, let's see. Uh, all lines are away. There we go. Good. Get our trusty hydrant wrench here. Hydrant is off. Get our supply line. Uh, what? I never can remember. That's the only thing, like, on this truck it's T, on the other truck it was Y. I kind of wish uh, the command for, like, the supply line was standard across the board. I'm sure there's reason as to why it's not, but that'd be easier for me, like, to comprehend. All right, let's get you put away and uh, close that up, and we're good. So uh, once again, uh, we responded with the Stillwater Volunteer Fire Department Old School Mac on the cabin fire, and now uh, engine 33-1 on uh, this outdoor a pergola fire. Uh, very nice looking truck. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, it's an awesome uh, update from what I can tell so far. I've enjoyed it. The uh, new pieces of equipment. I haven't done a lot in Montgomery County. I really just haven't. Uh, everything is so spread out. Uh, like I said, I, I feel like a lot of this is like way more uh, multiplayer conducive than single player, but it's still fun to hop in and uh, do some stuff, give it a try, that kind of thing. So anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please remember like, subscribe, ring that bell. As usual, uh, leave a comment. Love hearing from you. And uh, we'll see you in Montgomery, ne Montgomery County next time. Peace. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave a comment. As always, love hearing from you. And uh, with all that said, we'll catch you in Montgomery County next time. Peace.